Hey guys, welcome to Home Sweet Homeschool. If you're new here, my name is Ashley and I'm a homeschooling mom to one. And in today's video, we're gonna do a look inside one of the newer units from Gather Around Homeschool. We're gonna look inside the sports and PE unit. So sports and PE is a year three unit. So if you don't know anything about Gather Around Homeschool, I urge you to go check out their website, which is gatheroundhomeschool.com. They are a unit study company. They have been writing unit studies um, they're finishing up their third year and then they'll be starting their fourth year units. We have been doing this for four years. This is our fourth year using Gather Round. We love it in our home. Um, Gather Round writes these unit studies. They're on a variety of topics and they are meant to be your core curriculum, but you can obviously use them any way that you want to, however it fits your family. But they include all subjects except for math and it's for family style learning. Now, don't let that scare you. I only have one child and we use it and we love it. So you don't have to have a large family. It's really made for anybody, but we do love Gather Round. So check out their website. I also urge you to download their app. It is amazing. It has tons of resources. You definitely want to check that out too. So sports and PE. Um, I'm actually going to be using this towards a PE and health credit for my son for high school. So I'm pairing this with the Living Healthy book from Masterbooks. Now, don't come at me because I know that's written for a much younger audience than what my son is. My son is 14. He's an eighth grader. And I think the age limit for that is like 12. But in our homeschool, we do not worry about that. I do not worry about the grade level of things or the ages they recommend. I do what works best for my son. And so I think Living Healthy is going to pair so well with this. I um, am actually waiting on it to come in. If you'd like for me to do a flip through of Living Healthy, I will. It's supposed to come in today, but it's like two hours from here. So it's not here in time for me to film. So anyway, we're not talking about that today, are we? So anyway, I'm going to pair that with this. So in sports and PE, let's talk about what it's going to cover. Um, it is going to cover, and I have my list here, the history of a variety of sports. You're going to learn about how they're played, the rules, the equipment, and when I do the flip through, you will see all of that. It also does a general fitness assessment. You'll take the assessment in the first lesson, and you can go from there and decide what you need to do to improve or to maintain whatever it is you're doing. And then you take an assessment at the end to see if you made any progress or you need to make any more changes. So that's one of the things that you will do. It does talk about nutrients, how um, you need them in your body, how much you need and where you can find those nutrients. And that's exactly why I wanted to pull in the Living Healthy book along with this. The writing project for this unit is a sports broadcast or an article for a sports team that you make up. And so you will, um, your child will work on this throughout the unit to be able to create that end product. Now, there are some add-ons for this unit. The first one is the seat work journal. If you do not know what seat work is, and I do talk about this when I'm doing the, the look inside, I'm gonna link a video down below that I made all about seat work. Um, what it is, how you can use it, or how you can just not use it at all. Um, you can check that out. It's pretty helpful if you don't know what to do with seat work. So you can purchase the seat work journal for this. There is also a family fitness plan, and it tells you right here, don't forget to get these, um, a family fitness plan companion guide and a daily fitness log. So I'm just going to be honest. I hate to exercise. It's not my thing. Um, I'm not going to use that. So I'm not going to spend my money on that because I do not want a fitness plan. Um, I do like to go outside. I like to go for walks. I take line dancing once a week for two hours and you'll occasionally catch me doing some. Uh, I like Sean T who he did work for Beachbody, but I don't know if he still does. But I like T25 and I like size because I love to dance. So you'll find me doing things like that, but nothing on a regular consistent basis because not my thing. Now, my son's completely opposite. He has a weightlifting routine that he does. He has a cardio routine that he does. He's got it all together. So, he doesn't need the companion or the fitness log because he knows what he's doing. But if you need help in that area, those things are there and you can purchase those off their website as well. So, there you go. So, I know you're here for the flip through, not to hear me talk. So, let's get into it. All right, let's do the flip through of the teacher's guide. Now, I'm not going to show you everything, but I will show you a couple of lessons just so you can get an idea of what is offered in the sports and PE from Gather Round. 
So this is the teacher's guide, and then I'll show you the middle school, some of the middle school notebook. So one thing to note, when you purchase Gather Around, you are gonna have a note from Rebecca. It's gonna give you that red stamp. So if you ever buy print from there, this means that they printed it and you're allowed to resell those. And then these pages just kind of let you know that you can find them on Facebook and on Instagram. And if you've not downloaded their app, you definitely need to do that. And then this right here is what I talked about earlier, the other things that you can purchase to go with this unit. And that's just a reminder of those things. You have your recitation and you have your table of contents. So this just kind of shows you all the sports that you're gonna touch on. It also does have a lesson on mental and physical health. It has things on sports in Russia, England, Scotland, India, and then future sports as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just talk about a couple of the lessons. So lesson one is just introducing sports and PE. It does talk about why sports matter, um, you know, why your, your kiddos need to participate in sports or in things like that. It talks about the history of sports, physical education, what does the Bible say? And then you're gonna find a family devotional at the end of every lesson. There's also very easy to do hands-on activities. And I really appreciate that about them. Now, the one thing I'll say that I noticed, and I don't know why, I guess I just didn't look through the units well enough, but this was the first unit I was looking in that the answers to the student notebooks weren't directly behind the lesson. And um, I went back and looked like at chemistry and things like that. And now the answers are in the student guide. So if you're like me and you're just finding that out, that was like eye opening to me. So here's the vocabulary. So I am gonna show you lesson two, but the majority of the lessons that cover a sport are set up just like this. So this is about football. This talks about before you begin, you still have the color coding because this is a year three unit. You have the history of American football, and so you'll see that with each of the other sports. You'll have the history. You're also going to have a how to play. That's going to be with the other sports. Um, the National Football League, a less aggressive option. You have some quick facts and an extension activity. And then again, the family devotional and the hands-on. So this is going to be set up pretty much the same throughout all of those lessons. Now I want to flip and show you lesson 10 because it's a little different, but it's a good one. Lesson 10 covers mental and physical health, which is so important. The connection between them is so important. So you have this here, make sure you notice they do have the bold words. It talks about understanding stress and how to deal with it. A healthy routine, some quick facts, other tools in your chest, and then your family devotional and your hands-on activity. And then it goes right back into the other sports. So you have cross country, you have hockey, um, you're covering everything. So let me show you when it gets to, you know, sports in these different places. So you have sports in Russia, which is lesson 13. So you do have some geography, obviously. Uh, did you know? Talk about it. Figure skating and it's skaters. Spotlight on figure skaters. And then this talks about the game they've made up, and I'm not sure how to say that. I would say Lapta or lap, Lapta, I'm not sure, so don't come at me for that. I don't know how you say that. So those are set up like that for um, the sports in other places. And then you get to, um, let's go closer to the back here. So like lesson 18 is combat sports, so you do have things like karate and kung fu and wrestling and all those things and then you have obscure sports that we may not have ever heard before this like cracked me up when I saw this it's called wife carrying I had no idea that was a sport like that was that was great I think that is great um camel jumping I mean those are things that are just not normal to us and then lesson 20 is what now so these are things that may be sports in the future so that's what you're looking at here. You have your appendix. This got your resources and things like that. Um, but like I said, make sure you download the app because that's where you're gonna find uh, the planning pages and the book list and all those great things. So now let's go through this. I have such a hard time. I say this every time and I apologize. It is very hard for me to show these books on here because of having to flip them over the top. So I'm just gonna show you a few of the lessons and show you what they look like. So, 
let's start with the, you do have the recitation in here. I do like this part, uh, the table of contents. This is wonderful if you kind of just need an overview of what your kids are learning for that day. You've got your subject focus and then everything for that lesson is listed and it just gives you a good look at what's included. Then you're going to notice there are seat work pages. If you are new to Gather Round or if you're new to a year three unit and you've never used the seat work pages, I think they were in year two also. Yeah, they're in year two and year three. If you don't know what to do with the seat work pages, I made a whole video giving you a ton of options. My favorite thing is to purchase the seat work journal, but if you don't want to do that, there are other options and I'll link that video down below so that you can check out, check that out and see what you can do with the seat work pages. So that's what those are. There's one for every week. And then let's just go, let's start with lesson two. So it'll take me a second. So lesson two, of course, starts with the notebooking page, just like every lesson in a student notebook from Gather Round. Um, so it's going to cover the sport, how it's played, some important things from that lesson about that sport. So that's what that is. And then you have the anatomy of a scoreboard. Now we live in the South where football is huge. So we know all about the scoreboard, but in case you don't, there is that lesson. Then you have national anthems and you talk about patriotism. Here is a little lesson on Tim Tebow. And then you have all about bacteria. So I did mention when I first introduced it that you will have pages that are about nutrients and bacteria and things like that. So there's an optional extension activity. Now let's flip a little further back. Let's go to lesson 10, which was the mental health lesson and just kind of see, you know, how it's different. So lesson 10, you have your notebooking page, understanding stress, how to fight it, exercise, nutrition. Again, this is the middle school notebook. I don't know if I said that. I'm using it for my son who would be an eighth grader. He's 14. Um, that's, this is the one we chose to use with him. Then you have volcanoes for science and geography. It talks about how stress is natural, but if you do not take care of things that bother you, you could erupt like a volcano. That was a good comparison, I think. All right. So you're talking about parts of the brain, mind court. You know, what does the Bible say? Here's your thought, but what does the Bible say? Let's see if I'm going the right way. And then here's a lesson on potassium. So I do want to show you where the writing project starts because a lot of people always ask about that. And like I said, the writing project would be a sports broadcast or an article for an imaginary sports team that you come up with. So let's see if I can find that. I probably should have wrote that down. It starts in lesson three. So the start of the writing project talks about fantasy football, where you can choose certain professional athletes and all that, and you fill your roster. And so it does talk about that by the end of the unit, you'll create a sports broadcast of a game using your characters and their special strengths. So throughout the unit, you're gonna have writing lessons where you're gonna be working on this project and your end result will either be a broadcast or an article. But I will mention, you know, if that isn't fitting for your child, or they want to do something else with it, don't be afraid to do that. Make it work for your family. And then let me show you the appendix because like I said, um, it was different for me. So in the back of the student notebook, that is where you're going to find if you want to hang this up yourself so you know what their spelling words are for each week, you have a cheat sheet for that. And on the back, I'm not going to flip it around, but that's the vocabulary. And then there's your answer keys. For any of the things that need an answer, your answer keys are right back here in the back. You don't have to worry about where they are. They've not totally left. Um, looks like here you have some lesson 17, page three, must need some blank writing paper. Let's look at this. You do have a nutrition log here in the back. And more writing paper. Oh, and here is, we'll turn it this way. So if you make um, like trading cards for your team, 
You've got that. That will be fun. I think that sounds really fun. More writing paper. There is a map. So this is less than 20. And what is this here? Uh, some, so it's a plan. Time, food item, nutrient amount. And that is, I think, all besides, like, the references. So that is a little flip through of sports and PE from Gather Round Homeschool. Um, if you have any questions about this unit or, or Gather Round or any other units from Gather Round, be sure to leave them in the comment section. You can check out my playlist. I have a ton of Gather Round flip throughs and videos. This is our fourth year using it, so I feel pretty comfortable talking about it. So if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thank you so much for watching.